the Matsugane family and the Mole mountain assault, and the Kamarocho ambitions of the Kyore clan crumble. Betrayed by his inner circle, Hamura becomes a target himself, so he reveals to Yagami the Mole's true identity. He is Kamarocho's organized crime division detective, Kuroiwa. The man who took Matsugane's life falls under the shield of AD9's powerful benefactors. They held his funeral at Tojo Clan headquarters. It was an intimate service. The Matsugane family would have passed to Hamura, but with him missing, it was all but dissolved. It wasn't like he'd made much of an impact on the Tojo brass to begin with. But to Genda-sensei, he was an old friend of over 40 years. And then there was Kaito-san, who joined up after finishing middle school. And Higashi, too. When Kaito got expelled, protecting the boss became his personal mission. All of us knew exactly who was responsible for taking him from us. It was just a matter of finding the proof. Shintani's dead, killed by Ayabe, so they claim. This is the pre-trial conference for that case. Basically, we sit in here and hammer out the flow of the trial. Try to keep things as simple as possible for the jury, you know. According to the law, both the prosecution and the defense have to submit all their evidence before even going to court. You can't burst in mid-trial with new info like they do in the movies. We've been going in circles for a while now. We'll never get anywhere like this. You say that, yes. In other words, trying to we need to make sure all our cards are in order, then show the other side our hand. The rifling marks on the bullet are unshakable proof of guilt. You really want to plead innocent with such a severe disadvantage? How does the defense respond? You can also bargain for a lesser sentence if you so desire. No, we still contend that Detective Ayabe was set up. Our stance remains unchanged. Seriously? So it was Kuroiwa all along. Everything makes sense now. Were there ever any warning signs? Nah. This might have nothing to do with it, but... I heard a story about the guy once. Go on. Back when he was starting out, his boss on the force was working as a Tojo clan go-between on the side. In exchange for kickbacks and whores, of course. Kind of shit you see every day in Kamarocho. But one day, that boss went and threw himself off a roof. Right when they were gonna haul him in, too. Guess some goody two-shoes on the force went and ratted him out. One of his own co-workers? Was it Kuroiwa? No. Funny enough, they found the snitch with a noose around his neck just a day later. So it was a double suicide? What the hell? From what I've heard, it's possible that hanging was actually a homicide. Maybe, just maybe, someone wanted revenge on the snitch. After the dust cleared, a new dirty cop had risen from the ashes, with his boss's connections and then some. He's been in bed with the Yakuza ever since. Turns out this guy's our top detective, too. And you're saying that's Kuroiwa? Hey, I'm just telling you what I heard. You're the one who asked about warning signs.
Let's split up, Hoshino-kun. Sticking with me is just gonna put you in more danger. Come on, I'll be fine. I'm not a little kid. I know that. Either way, I'm done for today. Oh, okay then. Well, see you around, Yagami-san. ありがとうございました。Yagami-san. Hattori? Someone's got eyes on your place. Smells like it does when a journalist stakes out a shoot. How can you tell? Eh, I have a nose for these things. So? What do you want? Not me. Chairman Kajihira. He needs to know what's up with your investigation. Honmarwen's burnt to a crisp. Shioya-san's dead. The chairman is very interested to know what happened. No surprise there. <laughs> nice work. A police detective cum serial murderer. If you're telling the truth, there's a trail of death following 89 every step of the way. It all leads back to the human experiments. Patient Shono killed Waku-san, Emi Terasawa, Hashiki from the ADDC, Shintani, every single one of them. Maybe so, but without evidence, this is nothing more than a well-crafted hypothesis. Believe me, I know that already. All right, I've heard what you have to say, but Chairman Kajihira still wants to meet with you. I just told you everything I know. Then you can tell it to him, too. I'm little more than a messenger, after all. And if I refuse? Listen, Yagami-san. Chairman Kajihira isn't your enemy. He may even have details you wouldn't otherwise be privy to. I suggest you milk that for what it's worth. Oh, and put a good word in for me, huh? If you don't mind. <laughs> Are you free to meet now? You'll need to bring Kaito-san too, of course. It seems his bullet wound is almost fully healed. You really do know everything. What can I say? Comes with the job. Anyway, grab Kaito-san and head to Kikunoya. Kikunoya? I hear Patriarch Matsugane loved the place. Coincidentally, so does the chairman. Goodbye, Yagami-san. Yo, I'm gonna make some coffee. You want a cup? Hey, hey, aren't you supposed to be recovering? Eh, it's fine. Come on, drink with me. 
Well, if you say so. And by the way, Hattori just dropped by. The journalist? Yeah. Apparently Chairman Kajihira is asking for us. What I hear? Kajihira's in a pretty tough spot right now. Hmm? Chairman Koba from the Kilrake clan's putting the pressure on. I mean, their Captain Shioya just got his eyes gouged out. Never would have happened if Kajihira hadn't shipped him up to Kamurocho. Yeah, I guess so. First, a couple of their rookies die in Kamurocho. Then a captain turns up dead. Chairman Koba is probably freaking the fuck out. Guess Kajihira is calling us to fix it then? Dunno. We'll find out when we get there. We? I'm sick of sitting around watching Kuroiwa, man. We're not getting anywhere with this shit. It's time we try something new. Hell, I'll do whatever it takes to avenge Matsugane-san. Damn right. Let's roll, talk. We going to Kikunoya? All right. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Long time no see. It's truly horrible what happened to Matsugane-san. Yes. To his memory. Chairman Kajihira, I assume you've already heard about 89? Yes. Hattori-san told me everything. The incident three years ago was a human experiment gone awry, huh? I'm impressed you figured that out. <laughs> Quite impressed. I heard about Shinpei Okubo, too. The murder you let loose upon the world didn't actually kill anyone. Yeah. Emmy died at the hands of Shono, the 89 researcher. I'm not so sure about that. Do you have any proof? No? If I did, I'd be making you eat those words. Come now. No fighting. My old heart can't handle the stress. Hold on a sec. If you already know what's going on, why'd you go and call us out here? What do you really want? <laughs> You're sharper than you look. To be honest, I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Oh, yeah? The Cure Chairman Koba has been getting on my case. He wants me to put a button on all this murder business. Not that I can blame him. His successor just had his eyes gouged out after all. What's your point? I want you to bring an end to these killings. That detective, Kuroiwa, is behind it all, right? What do you take us for, assassins? I have confidence that the two of you can do what I ask. What do you say? I'll give you a handsome reward. 
Yeah, I think we'll be going now. All right, all right. It was a joke. Though the Cure clan has been getting on my case. So you were half joking. <sighs> the real reason I called the two of you here was to say thanks in Harski's place. Hmm? It must be frustrating for him to look down on this world just to see people say he died in a drunken brawl. But you saw through that false narrative. Once we have proof and crush AD9 for good, you'll finally be avenged. And you'll finally make good on your hundred billion yen investment. Not that I care either way. <laughs> So, Yagami-san, what comes next? Well, Ayabe's trial is coming up, right? We'll use that stage to bring the real crimes into the spotlight. That'll also mean lifting the veil on 89. Hmm. Okubo will be in the clear, too. Interesting. I think you're still missing some evidence, though. You're not wrong. We don't know where Hamura is, either. Well, then... What now? I'm gonna keep going after Kuroiwa. Stay on his tail till I get a solid lead. You may be waiting a long time then. He's not the type of man to slip up. I know. It'll take some time for sure. But there's no other way. I'm not sure you have the time you think you do. What do you mean? It won't be long until Shinpei Okubo is executed. What? So say my connections, at least. There's a top secret list stating which death row inmates are potential execution candidates for the near future. Apparently, Okubo is on that list. Once the Minister of Justice rubber stamps the execution, it's over. What? But why? Someone must have pressured the Ministry to put Okubo on the list. Damn it. If I don't do something soon, I'm gonna lose my chance forever. If it were me, I'd try going after an easier target than Kuroiwa. And who would that be? Look, this is an article of mine that got scrapped. Kido-san? Really? His womanizing ways are actually pretty well known. Guess he's really cut loose since they announced 89. Underneath the lab coat, he's nothing but a shameless pervert. If anything, he's the one you should be going after. No way am I getting into the ADDC, though. Not now. Eh, then you'll just have to lure him out. That's the only way to get a cautious quarry to leave its nest. And how are we gonna do that? Offer him a delicious meal. For Keto, that would be... A woman. A beautiful one, ideally. A woman? A woman? Well, that was the last place I expected to get any good advice. Yeah. He had a point, though. Keto might be our best bet for evidence. Evidence that could reveal the truth about 89. We're gonna have to drag him out of the ADDC first. Hattori suggested seducing him to Kamrocho. A honey trap, huh? I guess it's time for Saori san to do her thing again. <sighs> yeah, I'll ask her tomorrow. Well, I'm all out of gas for tonight. See you tomorrow, man.
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたもしもしあなたどうも。
guys. guys Matana Stay down. 
can't stay down.
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございましたうちの旦那とうとう男性の社長に抜擢されたのすいません
よろしくな